Hello, everyone. Welcome to my special presentation today. My name is Sid Notter, and I am here to talk about a friend of mine who has a product in the bundle, 2024 bundle, which you'll be hearing about as we go along. Her name is Nan Simonson, and she has got a cookbook, well, actually a cooking video course in the bundle that I want her to tell you more about so that you can see um, what she's offering and also see what a great value this bundle is. Plus, Nan is also going to demonstrate a recipe for us today. So welcome, Nan. It's great to see you. It's so good to see you again, Sid. Hi, everyone. I'm Nan Simonson, and I don't have a cookbook, but I do have a book. It's Aging Powerfully. I wrote this three years ago, a little more than three years ago, just before turning 70, with the intent to get people to realize that at a, what some people think of as an advanced age of 70, it's not the beginning of the end. It's the beginning of the beginning, if we think of it that way, of another one, two, or three decades. That's what I chose to see it at. And so I even stated a mission here to go through my 80s, 90s, and maybe beyond telling people about what I believe and that is the power of lifestyle as medicine. Powerfully is 10 letters. It's an anagram for 10 things that are recommended in the College of Lifestyle Medicine and by people who have seen evidence that these 10 things can do, oh, wonders to help us age with power. So that's who I am. I am excited about this bundle because I'm looking <laughs> at person after person after person whom I admire, who has content either in books that I read or, or um, podcasts that I follow or even classes that I take. And they're offering exclusive material in this bundle. We can't get any other way. So yes, we can't wait absolutely worth it. So one of the people that I'm excited about, and then I'll talk a little more a bit about my um, contribution, is the collaboration of Jean, I'm uh, sorry, Sid, Sid Nodder, with Eileen Kapsoftis. I have Eileen's book, and she is one of, I think, the, a, a preeminent um, physical therapist in terms of getting results in ways that a lot of physical therapists don't oh, pay enough attention to because she's very evidence-based. Well, Sid and Eileen have a product in the bundle. And actually, she's uh, Sid is involved in a couple of them. Do you want to take a minute to talk about that before I dominate? <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> I couldn't agree more about Eileen Cups After. She is the top-notch physical therapist and i think her her website is have well have lifelong well-being.com but let me double check that uh, but i'm pretty sure that's what it is we collaborated to make a course about bone health because i uh, actually already had a course about bone health and she had a course about bone health so we took the cream of the crop from both of our presentations and put it together into one course which is over three hours of video content training. Plus, I included a bonus cooking class for dairy-free recipes, substitutes for dairy, and she did a class on exercising for people with osteoporosis and people that just want to prevent osteoporosis. But a few of the things we talk about in the class are bone remodeling, which is every day our bones are breaking down and rebuilding every hour. You know, we usually don't think about that, but our bone has specific function. It's really critical to our entire body. You know, without our skeleton, we'd be in big trouble. We talk about all the bone minerals we need, not just calcium, which is the one we focus on a lot. We talk about food sources of calcium and vitamin D and supplements. And we, go, we take a deep dive into what the studies say about those things. And then Eileen goes into today's common testing and treatment practices for low bone density. And I think you would be very surprised to know what the data actually says about how effective today's bone drugs actually are. We talk about that. And then we talk about other factors for your bone health. It's not just diet. There are other lifestyle factors too. So thanks for bringing that up, uh, Nan, and everybody in the 
hopefully if you, when you get the bundle, you will get that course as well. It's called Age with Strong Bones. All right. Well, I can't wait. Um, because that's what I hear again and again as we age, that people are fearful sometimes of movement because they're fearful of breaking something because some people believe as we age, that's the beginning of the end. And that's not so at all. If we pay attention to the things that Eileen and Sid talk about. So what do I have in my bundle? Well, uh, this is not the cover page, but close to the cover page. The title is Cook, Eat and Live. With, for vibrant health. Now, why did I start that enthusiastic um, <laughs> title with cook rather than just eat and live for vibrant health? Because I recently got certified um, from a, a course that I took promoted by the College of Lifestyle Medicine run through Harvard College and their um, physical therapy or their, their um, uh, well, one of the arms of education of Harvard. And that course, Chef, represented culinary health educational practices. And the foundational recommendation for that course was, and the then training, was to get people to eat more or cook more and eat more at home. Unfortunately, they're eating a lot at home, but how are they doing that? DoorDash and restaurant delivery services, they're not making their own meals. And so it's upon us if we are so driven by our belief that eating whole food, plant-based, plant-exclusive, plant-forward, but just eating real foods makes a difference, and it does. It's, a, it's upon us to try to help others who aren't that familiar with working in a kitchen to make it happen. So this course started with the implements that we would use in a kitchen and then took us through different recipes, different techniques, and then how to teach it, how to train it. So I brought my version of the program to a senior center in our area. It's one of the largest and most successful uh, senior centers in California. They offer 200 classes a week. It's the Janet Gosky Center. And I did a program, a five week program uh, and I, that I offered to the seniors with this in mind, let me show you how you can cook easily. And the way I set it up was one meal at a time. And those meals began with breakfast one week, recipes for breakfast, recipes for lunch, recipes for dinner, and then um, recipes for um, snacks and desserts. And then I put in another one, and that was the um, explanation of the tools that make cooking easy and possible and um the the well the tools for prep tools for cooking tools for storage etc so it was a combination of videos because in order to do that at the center with the seniors i had to be in my own kitchen and so i did videos on breakfast on lunch on dinner on snacks and on the implements to make kitchen work um, work. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get, it's an average of about 45 to 50 minutes per video. So you have hours of training broken up by different meals. In addition to that, you have 25 recipes that with the exception of just a few are very quick, very easy, one of which I'm going to do today. And um, this has four ingredients plus water. So we can call that five ingredients. And um, I had a, a workman here yesterday and he's had some health issues and he is working on trying to clean up his diet, eat better. And I said, so what have you done to make that happen. And he said, well, I've done all these things. And he said, but I eat a cookie every day after my lunch and dinner. I try to keep it to dinner. And he said, because I want a sweet. 
So I went through my cupboard, I went through my freezer, and I gave them a bunch of my treats that are whole food, plant-based, sweet, with real ingredients, so that he could take it home and learn how to do that. I also upgraded, well, it wasn't really an upgrade, my Breville um, oven needed to be replaced. A couple of things weren't working, but everything else was. So I gave him my Breville and I said, let me tell you about air frying. So setting him up. So I thought, why not? Because I need to replace some of what I gave him, but why not give him the recipe for this? And so I did because it's that easy. Um, Sid, do you have any questions before I go into the recipe about... Um, about anything that I am either offering or discussed or anything about my, um, I'll call it my mission. Yeah, Nan, if you could just tell us what health improvement you have seen since you switched your diet and when did you switch your diet to whole food plant-based? Great question. I began the experiment, oh, this is such a good one. I've been a landscape designer and Master Gardener, uh, certified by the state of California, Master Gardener, spending a lot of times at Botanic Gardens. I happened to be in a Botanic Garden and there was a sign on the wall, sign up for next week's class on plant-based eating. I hadn't considered plant-based eating. This was the fall of 2018. I didn't even know what it meant, but I had just finished a series of of lab work and, um, and well you know your yearly evaluation once you turn 65 they want to make sure that they catch you and check you out and things had gone wrong I was up to 220 in cholesterol my blood pressure was too high I was pre-diabetic I had the antibodies for rheumatoid arthritis in other words things were going wrong. They even wanted to take my gallbladder out. They called it sludgy. There is sludge. I'd rather have stones than sludge, but I think sludge is better. Either way, they wanted my gallbladder. And I said no to every one of those doctors because those discoveries saying, send, you know this, some of you have experienced it. Those discoveries send you to the specialist. The specialists tell you what you need. Now, what do you need according to specialists, medicines and procedures? a surgery and a whole bunch of pills. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use food. And just like that, the universe <laughs> sent me this information about this class. I took the class. It was promoted by um, Food as Medicine and that's Pam Popper, uh, Popper. And I even then got certified to teach that class, not because I wanted to teach it, but I wanted the information. And I learned about plant-based eating. I even went to her conference in November in, um, I think it's Detroit or, um, no, in Ohio. And um, I learned about plant-based nutrition. So to answer your question, I began in 2018. I had been in a year long, actually it was a year and a half training course, course to be certified as a health coach. And I went to a cooking class at a clinic three minutes from my home. I was asked why I was there because I wasn't one of their members. And I said, I was told by a member to come because you teach plant-based cooking and I'm about to be certified. It was a month away from certification. They said, oh, our health coach and plant, our culinary coach is retiring. We're looking for one. They hired me and I began that January. So the whole thing is serendipitous. So to answer your question, it's been, I'm going on six years now as a health and wellness coach, six years now as a plant-based um, advocate. Uh, and all of those things that were wrong with me, that I would have a bag of pills for, that I would be sinking into further illness because the pills don't serve you unless you change everything. But every one of those doctors said that food doesn't matter. Every one of those maladies would be overtaking my health. None of them are here. I feel like I've aged backwards and continue and all I in, uh, intend to continue to do that. So at 73, I feel stronger than I did at 65. Um, anything else, Sid? 
No, thank you for that recap. I didn't, I forgot about the wellness forum. That's where I got my start too, through Dr. Pam Fowler. Okay. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Yeah. Yes, was there in 2018. I think it was October, November. She had the conference there. So, yay. Well, that's, that's uh, again, serendipitous. All right. So what do I have here? I have a Vitamix, but it looks a little different to you, doesn't it? Because that's what you're used to with a Vitamix. But the Ascent series and one of their other series allow for an added um, tool. And that is, in this case, a food processor. I have a La Cruz, is it um, the, the Cuisinart food processor, but this is just an easier, um, well, it's easier to get out, but it's also easier to clean. It just doesn't have as many nooks and crannies. So this recipe requires a food processor of some kind to work really well. And they are, it's called Minty Date Nut Bliss Balls. They are perfect <laughs> in the instance that I'm um, using pistachios or um, pumpkin seeds. They will be perfect for the month we're going into to celebrate what? St. Patty's Day, because you're going to see that they're rolled in these chopped nuts and therefore green. So, da da. So, we have again three main ingredients, and that is chopped walnuts, dates, and this is a cup of chopped dates. How do you measure a cup? Well, you have to chop them somewhat. So, I just cut them in half and then uh, chop them a little bit and lightly press them into a measuring cup. And this is roughly 10 medjool dates. You're going to see medjool, these big fluffy fat guys, and you're going to see the deglet nor, which are much smaller, denser, a little bit more fibrous and not quite as sweet. So. What you find usually, for example, Costco, um, a lot of stores, bulk bin health stores um, are the, um, the medjool. Some places require that you pull out that seed and please do that. <laughs> as a matter of fact, Chef AJ takes it as far as to say, if you've got 10 dates, you better have 10 seeds. Count them before you start your food processor. Well, I'm going to throw that guy in too, because they can mess up your blade. So I have the dates, it's 10 or 11 dates, um, or just kind of chop them and it's a cup. And you know what? Never mind about all the ingredients, because you're going to want to get the bundle. You're going to want to get this there. Oh, I've already started. I'll tell you what's in it. <laughs> Controlling myself. Um, but there's plenty more in the bundle. I have coconut. I believe it's a half a cup and I have um, oh a little bit of water, it's about a tablespoon of water. And then now this, this is funny because I was going to say of all of the ingredients that are so well priced, one of the most expensive is this. It's organic peppermint extract. When I bought this, I thought it was like $10. I thought, $10? I'll never use this. Well, I'm using about an eighth of a <laughs> teaspoon at a time. <laughs> it's going to last me the rest of my life. But that's okay. <laughs> it's very strong. I'm surprised you can't smell it through the computer because it's <laughs> really, really strong. So I recommend an eighth of a teaspoon to start, taste it, and then add more later. So I have a quarter of a teaspoon here. This way, I won't spill it over. And I'll throw in the eighth. That's it. You see why I say this is going to last me a long, long time? And then I'm going to blend it. Now, this gets noisy. I don't know if... Um, it has the feature that reduces sound. Do you? Some Zoom. I believe I do, yes. Oh, good. Then I won't feel yeah. too badly for you because I have to start it and stop it a couple of times. Come on, sweetie. So I'm going to 
push it down. The coconut jumped up around the rim and I'll mix it again, break it up just a little bit more. It's not going to be a, a fine paste. That's not what we're looking for. And it doesn't have to be. All right, there. It's kind of bound itself together. And I'll show you. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The recipe recommends that you just put it in a bowl and work from there. But I'm just going to use it right out of the, um, the processor bowl. Because it's easy. I found last time I made these, it was easier enough easy enough to do. You can be fun and fancy with these little um, oh, sweet cups and you can put them in a little box and give them as a gift. I have a ice cream scoop that allows me to get a certain amount and it's easy enough to get out. And then my hands are washed. I wash them just before we began. And then we decide on the size. They're rather rich. And if you are whole food plant-based, SOS free, and you're diligent, um, you're diligent about um, the, the um, caloric density, you know that this is a bit of a calorie bomb. I don't count calories. I feel so blessed that on a whole food plant-based um, diet where I pretty well stay to the left of the caloric density line, that 600 calories a pound. I don't have to count calories. I don't have to watch my weight. It just works. So I wouldn't eat these daily, every day, all day, <laughs> because when you have coconut, date, and you have walnut, you've got a pretty rich snack there. So what I have here, if you're familiar with pumpkin seeds, these are raw pumpkin seeds. I had raw pumpkin seeds, but I also had sprouted, roasted, salted pumpkin seeds. Now, this is not SOS free. And, well, they already got chopped up. They were a little greener, and I thought, I'm going to go with the greener one. And I could have used pistachios, raw pistachios. So I'm going to put some of this in a slightly wider bowl and just roll them around. And this is how easy it is to form these little beauties. I can put it into a little cup and it looks like I got it from C's chocolate, but there's a brown, not white. <laughs> and, um, go ahead. How many will that make about Nan? You know, I haven't counted, well, okay, I just made them for the seniors. I think I got 16. Mm -hmm. That's what I think I got. Mm -hmm. um, and I won't keep you here while you watch me do 16. But again, it will have to do with how, how much uh, I'm using. This one is a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit smaller. So... Um, if I'm consistent, I'm pretty sure I can easily get a dozen to a dozen and a half. And if I were miserly with it, in other words, tiny little snacks of them, mm -hmm. um, I might get even two dozen. But look at how fast this is. You saw how I made it. You saw how easy it is to get the end product. And you they're not bright, bright green. I think raw pistachios would have been a little brighter green, but they're definitely green. So if you used a different type of nut, you would still uh, grind it so it was small, so you could roll it? Uh, uh, yeah, you well, you could it? use pecan, you could use, uh, you could use any kind of a nut. 
Uh, you could even toast the nut to give it a greater, a, a, a stronger flavor, but I don't see the need for that. The flavor of these, uh, I told you about the workman, workman, his name is Rick. And I gave him one when he said, I have to have a cookie. I want something sweet. And I said, I want you to taste this. He tasted it. And I said, what do you think? And he said, oh, that's really good. And I said, there's no sugar, egg, oil. There's none of the stuff you're getting, flour, in those cookies you're eating every day. He's had some health challenges, as I said. And I said, instead of hurting you, it's helping you. Because it may be calorically dense. And in his case, he needed that. He's lost some weight. There. Da -da. And you mentioned the freezer. Do those freeze really well, Nan? Um, yes. Yes, I because I I didn't want to feel rushed in eating them. <laughs> well, actually, and I made the video for the senior center two weeks before I brought them there, because that's the other thing. I brought them samples, not of everything I made for that meal, but I brought them at least one um, or two of the items that I made and I brought it to them and it had to be something that was transportable and that they could eat. And I, so I made these and put them in the freezer. No difference at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So what that's other type? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Keep, and I'll keep, I'll keep making as you keep talking. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, maybe that... we'll get an a, 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 uh, answer to that story. I'm already up to six of them. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> So that would definitely be in your snack video, right? Or your snacks or dessert yeah, video. This was, yep. This was snacks and desserts. Um, and the snack and dessert video and recipe in the bundle uh, also includes my favorite of all hummuses. And it's a roasted red pepper hummus. And no, you don't have to buy red peppers, roast them, get the skins off and make it that way. You can just use the jarred um, uh, roasted red peppers. Uh, those are available just about anywhere. Trader Joe's has them, Costco has. I think Costco has them, but they would have them in a big jar. You don't need that much. Uh, you only use a third of a cup in the recipe, but it's a delicious hummus and it's Brenda Davis's recipe. Um, and we always, always have it on hand. So they got they got that and a, a little cup of that and um, some crackers. And mm -hmm. so that was part of the snacks and dessert. And then for the dessert part, um, they got one of these and they were just they were so pleased. Mm -hmm. So, so in your course, like in the bundle, this course is in the bundle. Is your book included with that or not? Is yeah, that a separate? Thank you for asking me. I included the PDF. Now, I think the book is nice enough to have on hand, and it's so full of information when it gets to. Now, there's a preempt. There is a bit of memoir. I had some real challenges I got through, including almost a lifelong eating disorder that is gone, and I attribute whole food plant-based eating to that for a number of reasons. And um, so there's a bit of a memoir. And mm -hmm. then I uh, I outline the 10 um, lifestyle as medicine modalities that are recommended by either the health, the College of Lifestyle Medicine or other evidence. And um, so, but the people. So, I was going to say it's it's nice to have the book to go back to. But if you have the PDF, that also becomes that kind of a resource, and therefore you can have it for free. Uh, well, the bundle's not free; it's just incredibly um, value packed. And yeah. yeah. So, to answer your question, the PDF of Aging Powerfully is in the bundle. Wow. So if people that buy the bundle, they're not only getting your cook, eat and live for vibrant health video course that you're demonstrating here, but they're getting the PDF of your book as well. Your book called yes. Aging Powerfully. Yes. Wow. Okay. That's really good. So 
I've learned not to tilt it because I'm, I'm <laughs> talking to you from a center island with a sink. And right now, one of my balls is in the sink, but because it rolled right off. But two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 of these. Wow. Isn't that nifty? And well, I could tease you and eat one right now. Well, oh, yes, I'm going to do that. So there's no chocolate in there. It's minty, but mm. the, the dates give it the, the yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. And actually, when you said that, I thought, oh, my gosh, did I forget the chocolate? Mm. Because I've made some bowls like this with chocolate. No, I didn't. But you could put, I know this would work. You could put a tablespoon of cocoa powder in here. You may need a tablespoon and a half of water instead of just a tablespoon. I haven't written that anywhere. And you could end up with chocolate bliss balls. Uh, if they're already dark, they would simply be darker and you could still roll them. You can roll them in, I'm gonna say green because you want to celebrate St. Patty's Day or you like <laughs> pumpkin seeds. And pumpkin seeds are very, very nutritious by the way. Um, or, um, you love pistachios, but you can also roll them in chopped up any nut, and you can roll them in chopped up coconut. Mm. Well, and the versatility look, there. Yes, they look like mm -hmm. little snowballs. Okay. Um, just real quickly, what other recipes, like give a breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipe that you have in your cooking video, okay. perhaps? Uh, a tofu scramble. It always has to have a tofu scramble. So I gave them my favorite and it's simple tofu scramble mm -hmm. a wonderful smoothie um overnight oh a baked oat dish so they can have oatmeal that they bake once a week and then just scoop out and heat for that breakfast for lunch we did Oh, salad. We talked about salad uh, because I think it's important that people realize that they can do a um, what we call a nourish bowl. I gave the basic ingredients of a nourish bowl, and that encourages people to do batch cooking, batch cook quinoa, batch cook beans, batch cook potatoes, and throw it all together with some either bagged cleaned greens, which is a fast way of making a meal or greens that you grow or greens you get at the farm store. Um, so we have that. And for dinner, I have, hmm, what did I do for dinner? Huh, I can't even think of what I did hmm. for dinner. That's embarrassing. And I don't have it here with me. Shall but I go look real quick? Do you want me to look? No, I can look real oh, quick. Oh, you can you look. Like. No, yeah. thank you for that. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look here. So for dinners, you have got, let me get to the, oops, I have to sign in. So sorry. Oh. And the way that these recipes are offered is by the meal. So you'll have your sheet of recipes, the breakfast, lunch, dinner recipes. Um, and you don't have to go to the video and open them with that video. The uh, recipe collection is available independent of that. I'm sorry, I couldn't pull it up because I I didn't realize you have to register you have to register another step to get to the book. Oh, I thought the book was true. yeah. So I'm yeah. sorry, but I'm sure it's delicious. Whatever, whatever it, they are. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are. They are delicious. I'm having a complete um, fade out, and I can't think of. And there were six recipes, six or seven recipes. And I can't think of what they are. Shoot. Well, you did it so long ago, right? You're just including the video from long ago. long ago. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. Totally understandable. So thank you, Nan. So everybody listen up. The bundle at the time of this video is worth almost $8,000. And it's probably going to be more. It's probably going to go over $8,000. The value of the bundle. Because there's like 140 people contributing products to the bundle. So, and it's $49 to get the bundle. Even if you got like four things in the bundle that you loved, you'd still be getting your money's worth, but you're going, going to get like 
oh, 140 products, I think it is at the time of this video. Um, all the details will be in the bundle when you click the link below this video to, to take a look at the bundle and perhaps purchase it. You'll get all of the details there. But I would have to say, and I typically don't recommend people to buy things unless I am confident that it will benefit them and it's worth the money, right? And that's definitely true of, of this bundle. I 100% agree. When I began to, because we in the bundle got to check out the bundle mm -hmm. and I opened it up and I started scroll scrolling. And at first I thought, oh, this is so much. And I thought, wait a minute. I'll look at one, then I'll look at another, then I'll look at another. And it was value upon value upon value. There's yoga, there's health practices, there's heart health practices. Dr. McDougall put in two, um, I believe it's two or three courses that he would usually sell. Uh, he put in them as a free gift. Well, I, I keep saying free as part of the bundle. In other words, hundreds and hundreds. In this case, it may be thousands of dollars worth of value because every one of us who do the bundle, who are involved in it, believe that our goal is to get people to eat more plants, to take better care of themselves, to see lifestyle as medicine. And so the bundle represents that by teaching you everything you need to know from one to another to another, 140 contributions. You could decide you're gonna look at 10 of them a month and get through it then. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have a yep. year, an entire year to yeah, you access have, the bundle. Yeah, you have a year to download everything and then it's yours forever. Once you download it to your computer, it's yours forever, but you have an entire year to do that even, so. Or put it on a joystick. Just put it on the little yeah. lightning stick. I think we're up to 500 megabytes and mm -hmm. you put it on a joystick that will hold that. And every time you want to go to the bundle, you simply insert your stick into the computer. So there's lots of ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just so exciting. <laughs> yeah, like you said, it's more than just recipes. There's thousands of recipes in there, but it's how to read your lab tests. You know, there's a doctor that has a class on that. There's a class on the 10 things to do to organize yourself in five minutes, like things you could do within a five minute period to be better organized. So there's all sorts of things in the bundle that aren't specifically food related, but still helpful to the food related journey. Well, another example is yeah. one of my favorite cookbook creators is Drina Burton. I've never had a recipe of hers that I wasn't crazy about. Well, she has a cooking contribution but then she also has a she's also a yoga teacher she also has a contribution about releasing and working with your fascia that's something that a lot of people don't pay any attention to Eileen taught me as a member of her academy about the fascia and how valuable it is well Drina Burton is there taking us through fascia releasing exercises think about mm. them amazing and it's Very a video good. walking you through it. <sighs> yeah, so the bundle is only available from March 1st to March 10th. Midnight Pacific time on March 10th is the last opportunity to get the bundle. And there will never be a bundle like this again, right? Every year the bundle is unique. So this is a unique bundle and it's only available for 10 days. It's $49. And for that, you get over $8,000 worth of product. So really, really check into it. And you can't go wrong. You can have those products on your computer or on your little uh, joystick forever, you know, and watch them as you will. In fact, last year I put something in the 2023 bundle and I still get a notice that people are just now opening it. So it's a year later and people are now just opening what I had in last year's bundle, <laughs> which is good because obviously they still have an interest and there's a lot of time to access anything that you want to look at. So you'll find our link below this video. Each of us are yeah. going to put this on our platforms and simply go to the link March 1st at 7 a.m. PT Pacific time mm -hmm. and get your bundle, open it up and start to play. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much, Nan. It's been a pleasure having you here today. I'm definitely going to make those 
minty date nut bliss balls because they're so easy and they look delicious and they freeze well. And I bet they travel well too. I could imagine putting those in a Tupperware and taking them, uh, you know, taking them on a trip. Oh, absolutely. They're delicious now. And when I let them sit or refrigerate them and they become very, very firm. Oh, they're even better. Yum. <laughs> Okay, well, take care, everyone. And thanks again, Nan. It's been great to see you. It's been terrific. Thank you.